Good morning, Eastsiders. This is Robbie coming to you um, this Wednesday morning. I want to just share a short passage of scripture for you and a little bit from my heart. Read with me out of 1 Peter. We're going to look at verse 3 through 5. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. You know, I have shared uh, on my devotionals before, I've talked you know, great length of Pastor Joe and my good friend Larry uh, Smith, as well as many other friends and family, about my experience uh, going through an immeasurable amount of pain, going through situations and sufferings that most people would have, you know, felt unbearable. And um, and unfortunately, I know people who have dealt with this so much that they've even taken their own lives. I thank God that He has not put me into that place of despair. I thank God that he has given me a hope that there's a reason, that there, is a, that there is a way to manage through this, that at the end of the day, I can glorify him and bring honor and praise to his name. That's my suffering that gives me my hope. And I'm sure that you have hope that you have through all the different areas that we've discussed of um, the, the, the areas that there is hope for. This week, we're saying there's hope for everyone. And one of the most common and easiest ways for me to be able to share that there's hope for everyone is through this passage we just read. Again, it says, who has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. New birth. When are we going to be born again? Number one, when we accept Jesus Christ. When we want to find new life again. When we're resurrected to the kingdom. When we're resurrected to heaven. As a faithful saint of God, I'll tell you what, this goes into talking about the inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. It's kept in heaven for you and is shielded by God. That should bring you hope that there is more to what God has to offer you than what's on this earth. We have a hope of everlasting life. We have a hope that is eternal. And I pray that you find your hope today. And in the days to come, you understand that there's an earthly hope that gets you through this time. And there's heavenly hope that will get you through eternity. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.